Do you know that either me or you are going to be affected by osteoarthritis as we grow older? Surprised? Well, it's a fact. Nearly one in two older adults are affected by knee osteoarthritis. My name is Benny and I'm a PhD student at the Menzies Research Institute of Tasmania in Hobart. And today I will be describing about my project and some of its findings. Knee osteoarthritis has always been controversial with physical activity. Studies have suggested that some of the physical activity, especially the sternus physical activity, is detrimentally associated with knee osteoarthritis. The controversy behind this may be explained by the fact that different physical activity have got different effect on different knee structures. So we decided to study all the structures in the knee. So the aim of my project was to find whether physical activity, physical fitness, as well as fatness in childhood is related to adulthood knee structures as well as function. We explored this in a 25-year data set where the baseline childhood data was collected in 1985 in Australian Schools Health and Fitness Survey. These school kids of the age of 7 to 15 years underwent various measurements including physical activity, physical fitness, as well as obesity measurements. And these measurements were repeated after 25 years and a subsample, a representative sample underwent knee magnetic resonance imaging. Then I processed these MRI scans to identify the knee structural abnormalities. As well as I processed these images to quantify the knee structural cartilage volume as well as the bone size. These MRI measures are known to predict the development of osteoarthritis in later life. So the idea is that the childhood predictors or childhood factors which are associated with these knee structural measures can in turn predict the development of osteoarthritis in later life. We found that childhood obesity is associated with increased knee pain. And we further looked at the change in obesity status from childhood to adulthood and we found that childhood obesity had an irreversible damage on the knee pain. Furthermore, we found that the childhood physical performance measure, especially the cardiorespiratory fitness measures, were beneficially associated with the acquirement of knee cartilage volume in adulthood. And this was in particular independent of the adult, adult attained fitness measure as well. So identifying the modifiable risk factors using my research is of high priority as these risk factors are potentially reversible. This in turn can prevent the development of osteoarthritis in late life and could save the government in millions in joint replacement surgeries. Thank you.